All right, welcome back. In today's video, I wanted to talk about a tool that I've been using extensively across all of my color grading projects. And it's something that I think came out in DaVinci Resolve 19. This tool allows you to change the hue, saturation, and density of any color in your project. And it specifically even has a skin tones tab, a skin tool that allows you to adjust and fine tune your skin tones, your skin colors, and make all of your color grading look super pleasing. I'm specifically referring to the color slice tab. And it's something that's completely changed my workflow. Let's hop into DaVinci and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve, as you can see, I just have two simple nodes here, a color space transform and a compound node with all my film looks, my color grading. But if I wanna change a specific color, what I like to do is create a serial node, option S, right after my color space transform. And just to simplify everything, if you go down to this specific tab here, the color slice, this will completely change the color kind of management that you have on specific tones. And what this basically does is it breaks up the colors into red, skin, yellow, green, cyan, blue, magenta. If you click this little button right here, it'll show you exactly what colors this specific tab kind of highlights or what sections it affects. And this is all completely customizable. Now, before this was super annoying because you had to create masks, you had to be super detailed, super fine. Now, if I go to the skin area and I select or click and hold highlight, it shows you the exact area that this is about to affect. And if I go to hue, as you can tell, I can change the hue of just the skin tones. Now, this basically is just affecting this kind of like orange area. You can change the center, change the area that this specifically affects. On the right here, you have saturation. So you can either bump up the saturation, turn down the saturation, fine tune it to however else you'd like your skin tones looking. I kind of like a bit more saturation in my personal taste. And then one of my favorites is this over here. This is the density. And you can either increase the density or pull down the density of your skin tones. And this, this coupled with saturation, just to make this super simple, if you're not a color grading expert, not a professional as I am, I like to just eyeball everything and see how different densities, different saturations look. Oftentimes I find myself bringing up the density and just up the saturation just a tad and bringing my hues over to the right towards the reds a little bit to get that nice skin tone look. Another crazy feature about this whole color slice tab is that you can affect any other colors. So what I like to do oftentimes is bring up the saturation of my greens and bring up the density as well. You can kind of tell in the background there that's a little bit different. If we just toggle this on and off, you can tell there's a notable difference in the skin tones. I think the density is a little bit too strong actually, so I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. I mean, if I feel like his jacket's just a little too red, I can, I can bring it, you know, either left or right. But for this one in particular, I think I'm just gonna bring down the saturation just a tad. There's nothing groundbreaking about this tool in particular. It just streamlines everything. It just makes it so much easier to go in to a particular color. For instance, the reds, maybe I'm gonna bump up the greens or take out some blues, my shadows. There's a bunch of different things you can do. Specifically, my favorite just deals with the skin tones, fine touching your skin tones so that everything looks very natural. And it just makes your life a lot easier. You used to have to go in and create masks around specific areas on specific colors and this kind of just does the work for you. And you can just fine tune this to your liking and make this fit for your specific workflow. Another quick tip, sometimes I like to just add the color slice of a specific color to a specific node, and then I'll create another node, do the same thing. Maybe I wanna take out all of the reds in the specific image. I can just pull this down. And as you can tell there, it's a little extreme, but you get the idea of you can just take out colors increase colors. A couple of tips that I like to do, I like to take out the blues, oftentimes the cyans in my shadows. This is what I use, take out the blues of the cyans. And I like to obviously bump up the overall density and saturation to get a more filmic look. So yeah, that was the Color Slice tool, a super easy and streamlined way to manage your color tones, your densities, saturations, and hues of any specific color. I haven't done a bunch of DaVinci videos, but I plan to do more in the future. If this has helped you, let me know down below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my store for sound effects. This video is unsponsored, so any way you can support, really appreciate it. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next one.